Dallas. Thanks so much for staying with us. You know, this has been a very medical week. I've talked to medical experts and giving you the best information. And today I get to talk to Jeremy Lee and Al Piazza, and they're going to talk about prostate cancer. And I want you to listen up, because I know that's hard for guys, but, hey, it's really important. Jeremy, Al, thank you, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you for having thank us, you. Valder. Hi. If I could start with you, Jeremy, tell me uh, uh, what you know about prostate cancer. Yeah, prostate cancer is the second le leading diagnosed cancer in adult men and the second leading cause of cancer deaths. The key with prostate cancer is identifying patients who have aggressive disease, and often many men have low-risk disease and they don't even need any treatment. Now, they're surprising. The idea of watching cancer without treatment is really new, but many men can live 20 or 30 years without uh, an aggressive treatment, surgery, or radiation. Okay, if they are uh, living this long, and you're saying the diagnosis doesn't always lead to death, is this a change in the disease from when it starts first hitting, you know, our airways? Well, what? we've talked before about the PSA test as a blood test. It stands for prostate-specific antigen. It's a protein test that helps us identify men who have a prostate problem. And oftentimes, that leads to referral to a urologist, which leads to a biopsy, which can identify prostate cancer. But once we have the prostate cancer, that's when the challenge begins as far as what's the next step? When do you need treatment and who needs treatment? So with the cancer cells, we can run this Polaris test. It's a genetic test. It's cutting edge technology. It looks into the prostate cancer cells and helps a doctor determine which cancers are more aggressive and which are less aggressive. This helps with the patients to make a decision that they're not rushing into. We, we talked about wa uh, watchful waiting or active surveillance. That's the process of sitting back and not treating the cancer. It's, this is cutting edge technology. We know that most men can live with prostate cancer, so understanding who has aggressive cancer and who has low risk is the key to providing the best quality of care to your patients. That's a great explanation, uh, Dr. Lee. Let me talk with, if you could, let me uh, address this to uh, Al. Al, tell us where you are and what you know about prostate cancer. Well, Belder, when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, it was pure panic. Uh, no man wants to hear that cancer word in your body. It literally took me to my knees. Uh, my whole future in front of me had stopped. I'm 71 years old. I have a long life, I feel, living in front of me. But because of this diagnosis, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I've heard of treatments. I've had friends that have gone through uh, uh, treatments for prostate cancer. And as a result of what I've seen of them, I should have not want any intrusive uh, treatment done to my body. I just not want, did not want to live with the results of it. So thankfully, when Dr. Lee presented this opportunity to have this Polaris test done, uh, I, was, I was thrilled to find out what the process, what the progress of my cancer would be in a 10-year time frame. And I tell you, when I found out that I had like a 3% chance of my cancer progressing in 10 years, my whole life opened up in front of me. I was able to plan my future, enjoy my grandkids. All those things came back to me. Uh, and on a scale of 1 to 10 for this test, I would give this test a 12. It just brings you total relief, allows you to just enjoy life again. What a living testimony, Al. Thank you for such a positive response. You're welcome. Dr. Lee, let me ask you, tell me about this, this drug, Polaris, or this treatment, Polaris. Yeah, Polaris is a genetic test. So the idea here is when we look at prostate cancer cells or any cancer at that, we're making the best decision we can on what the cells look like. What the Polaris test is, it looks into the actual DNA. This is the wiring of the cell. It, it kind of helps you predict which are going to be faster and which are going to be slower in the future. If you don't mind, let me give you an analogy and the way I discuss with my patients. I say to them, if you have six cars lined up on a quarter mile drag strip and you had to predict which car was the fastest to get to the end quickest and which was the slowest, you look at the cars, the color of the cars, the chrome, the wheels, the sound, and you try to predict. And that's what we're doing by looking at the cancer. When you lift up the hood and look at the engine, you're really getting into the nuts and bolts of which one is fast, which has a little four-cylinder, which is a big V12 powerful engine. And that's what the Polaris cancer test, genetic test, is doing. It's looking into the cancer cells to help a doctor determine better which cancers are fast and which are slow growing. I, I, I think this should be exciting news, especially for family members. Um, you know, because I get to do this show, people tell me all kinds of things like I'm a doctor, 
but because I have great doctors like you on, mm-hmm. they always want to get this information. And one of the things is, is uh, uh, what you're talking about, a lot of people are suffering, and you know the families suffer too. I think this is great news for families and the patient. Absolutely. Where can they go and get more information? That's the end result. Yeah, there's great information on the American Urology Association website and the American Cancer Society. And if you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, Myriad Genetics makes the Prolaris test. And they have a website that can help explain this genetic test if you want additional testing before you make your decision. Well, Dr. Lee, they say you were a game changer, this information, and this truly is a game changer for people who have to walk this path. I want to thank you and I want to thank Al for coming on and talking about this very sensitive subject, but something that can save a person's life. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.